Hi, Aaron here, Aaron Speed Shop. We're trying to make videos here and it's a difficult go as a single alone employee, but I'm gonna figure this out. You are currently sitting on my Lexus ES300, which is going to be a project for the channel. It's an older ES300 that runs good. We're gonna lift her up, put some knobby tires on it, make it a little bit more useful because it needs some suspension work anyway. First today though, we're going to show you the freshly detailed up Lexus. Kind of show you that even an older car, it's rough. It can still look half decent. I mean, you get up close, looks tired. But going by, it's not embarrassing. We're also going to take you on a journey of a sort of a work truck cleanup. We're going to take a 2006 Duramax and give that the full show. It's got grease all over the back end from the Kubota. It's got all sorts of issues, dirty you know, need some work. We may even make another video diagnosing a bad glow plug. And we also might make a video diagnosing a bad trunk latch. However, this is really, let's be real, it's a trial. I don't know how I'm gonna get good at this YouTube stuff, but I'm gonna work on it. So we will update you in a moment. All right, we'll catch you in a minute. There she is. It's really not too shabby. You know, you like to call it a 10 or a 15 footer. Um, uh, you could also call her, uh, she's a 10 from 15. You know, if you're 15 feet away, she looks beautiful. You get up a little closer, yeah, she's got some age on her. But seriously, who doesn't like a shiny car? Let's check out the interior. All right, as you can see, interior came out pretty good. Most of the stains were able to be removed. You know, she's an older car. Things 22 years old, got 130,000 on it. But there's no reason that you can't have a nice clean car, you know? You got the, the OCD stripes on the rugs, and you know, if we take a look at the driver's side, gonna notice it's presentable there's nothing embarrassing I mean it's really not a bad car so if you're ever wondering always keep your car clean if you don't do it you can have somebody else do it but even an older car is fun when it's clean catch you in a minute all right enter Big Bess as you can tell my shop wasn't really outfitted with dually full-size trucks in mind. The shop really was built to work on Toyota MR2s and other small cars. We did a bit of a clean on the inside the other day and uh, just a quickie we've got to finish it we got to do a full detail and then we're going to spray the underside with fluid film which seems backwards also got to remove this pinstripe that my buddy was super horny to put on even though i told him it was the wrong color and install the new one on this side and the other side that i'm pointing at and you couldn't even see to clean the wheels clean the wheel wells really give this girl a good detail the oh geez a little, a little bit of lifting but that's the color that the stripe's going to be not teal and uh you know just get her detailed up um have to empty the bed take some stuff out clean the whole truck and since i pressure washed the kubota you can actually see those spots are legitimately grease that flung off the kubota so we gotta get that off so anyway i'm gonna set you up on a time lapse because i'm gonna listen to most likely copyrighted music and if I can remember, when I return, hold on, let's flip this around. 
All right. When I return, hopefully, if I can remember, I've got Rode Wireless Go mics. I'm going to put one of those on, see if I can get it to direct record to the GoPro. And if it works, the audio after the time lapse should be much better. I will be stopping the time lapse potentially to show you individual things that I do because maybe you want to learn. Who knows? Maybe this is just entertainment. Maybe you just want to see the before and after. Early videos on the YouTube, we're going to have to work on this. Enjoy the time lapse, folks. All right, folks, as you can see, we're working on the tailgate here. And if you've ever noticed Chevy tailgate latches, they, they just don't want to close. So what we end up doing is if you pull the tailgate bezel off, you're going to see two legs hanging down under the latch. Well, those are just sticky. you got to spray them, lubricate them. Flap them back and forth. You know, a little looby dooby goes a long way. But, you know, you're also seeing me emptying out the bed. You got to sweep. You leave yourself a mess. You're going to have to clean up a mess. I'm going to find some great tunes for you guys and uh, enjoy the show. I may pop back. I may not. Alrighty. All right, 
I don't know if the audio is coming out of that thing or not. I don't know if this thing's recording or not. All going to be kind of a test. Going to set you up and we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to show you the way I wash wheels, maybe. Show you the way I detail a car. I've done videos like this before, but I don't know. Maybe they'll uh, be popular now. I, I don't really know. We do have a couple of projects to do. We're going to end up pulling the cab lights apart and resealing those and putting some LEDs in them. I did replace the pinstripe on both sides. We'll show that to you. I already fixed my tailgate latch and I will explain what I did to fix it, but I can't show you because it's already back together. Um, what else? Anything else I need to fix? Uh, not going to be doing the glow plug in this video, maybe in another video. I don't know. Let's uh, see how this audio shit works. Rock on. All right. As I grab my stuff, we're going to spray it with a little wheel cleaner and then we're just going to wipe it down. Do a little wishy-washy. Uh, this bucket that I'm going to roll over into view or past view, however you want to say it, uh, that bucket's got cleaner in it. Um, I'm not showing you the brand of the cleaner I'm going to use, mostly because I don't necessarily endorse it. It's a generic product that I like and I can't find my brush. But basically as far as wheel cleaners go, um, they're really all about the same. I hate to say that, some people might get all mad and go, no, you know, brake buster's better than this, better than that. Um, well, that's all bullshit. Um, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to buy any specific brake stuff per se. You really don't. Um, it's an action that you want and that action, oop, that's not on. Let's go to soaker. I'm gonna add a little more water to our bucket here. Um, but yeah, as far as wheel cleaner, uh, buy the goopiest, thickest, clingiest one you can find. If it's runny, it's gonna run off and it's not gonna help you. Uh, this is, some crap I got on sale at O'Reilly's one day, and uh, it works okay. I mean, uh, if you let your wheels get as dirty as I let these wheels get, I certainly recommend some sort of active wheel cleaner. Um, this is the fancy, you know, oh, it's gonna be purple stuff, and uh, just spray it on. Um, you can wear gloves, this stuff smells freaking terrible, but really the main focus is going to be getting it in there so that it can basically do your fancy everything turns purple. Does the purple matter? Uh, not really. It's the latest fad. Um, it's supposedly, you know, it's, it's, it's reacting with the iron, so to speak. Well, the problem is, is that this iron isn't really embedded in the surface. That's a pretty good lie. At least, you know, if you beat the crap out of your car and you never wash it, these products might somehow help but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to clean his car just I don't know once in a while um, and this is just mostly car wash soap uh, that's in this bucket because I actually used this to wash one of my other cars um, yeah that's a cool trick you got a car that you're not that worried about use the wheel bucket that way you don't make a mess out of your other bucket um, 
remember you can't fix a paint job by washing it um, but just give your wheels a good good uh, general brushing and then you can come in with the more detailed brush and clean her off but again like a lot of people want to buy Eagle One or PNS or whatever product, which is cool. I uh, I've bought some name brand ones over the years, but I have found that more often than not, it really isn't that much better. Uh, working as a professional detailer, I have used the commercial versions. And again, just not that great. All right, uh, we're just making a quick work of this wheel. Now mind you, show cars get a whole different treatment. This is my work truck. Um, it is not really in mint condition. I, these wheels are actually spray painted, believe it or not. Well, I'm sure you'll believe it after you look at them, but yeah, just, uh, you know, brush everything around. This stuff smells terrible. The actual chemical that turns purple uh, that reacts with the iron is absolutely abhorrent smelling. And every company that uses it has tried to make a, a version that doesn't stink. And, well, like uh, science would dictate, they've all failed. All right, let's see how she looks here. Again, this is a work truck. We're gonna degrease the tires a little bit later because uh, we have to spray most of the truck with degreaser because it's actually covered in, oh, go figure, grease. All right. And there you have it. All right, we're gonna put you back on time lapse and uh, we're gonna ditch the microphone and let you watch me. Wow, evidently fire trucks in the background. We're gonna put you on time lapse and let you watch me do the rest of the job. All right, folks, here she is. What do you think? Pretty shiny, you know? It was ceramic coated a while back, but I'd say it looks pretty good. Yeah, we might have forgot to paint that wheel. We'll get there, don't you worry. But even your work trucks can look good. So if you want a detail, hit us up. We have a website, uh, AaronSpeedShop.com. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day, folks. Bye-bye.